How to get Vein Miner for the latest version of Minecraft Bedrock Edition, the 1.20 update. This is all possible thanks to this Vein Miner add on, which will be linked in the description down below. Make sure you download it. It comes with a behavior pack, make sure it's active. It does indeed have a cogwheel, which allows you to select some more personalized settings. If you choose all blocks, it'll be all the blocks that this Vein Miner supports to Vein Mine. And of course, you can choose what you want with these other settings. So I'm just going to leave it on all blocks and carry on. Now, the thing is, you do not need any experimental gameplay features. I just have short sneaking on because I, I think it's cool. But you do not need any experimental features, which is a huge plus. But other than that, generate the world and hop in. So here we are in the world, right at this beautiful cherry grove. And we can see that in my inventory, if I go to the survival, I have a few different axes and pickaxes that I'll show you how this vein miner works with. So let's start with axe since we have this beautiful cherry tree here. Sad thing is we're going to chop it down in one fell swoop. So all we need to do is crouch and break and it will break all the wood in the cherry grove tree. Just look at that in one fell swoop. I've harvested all the wood in this beautiful majestic tree now if you want to just mine normally you just don't crouch and you just break one at a time but of course if you want to vein mine you just simply crouch and that will break everything very useful indeed and as you can see it works on the new cherry grove tree so that's amazing but it also works on other trees if i run down here to show you on this oak tree over there it will indeed work on it as well. So let's go to this oak tree over here and crouch and mine. And as you can see, it broke everything in one foul swoop. And let's go to this very weird looking acacia tree here. I don't know, something feels off about it. But let's just mine it in one foul swoop. And there you go. It did miss that block, but it's basically all of it gone in one foul swoop. I'm saying one foul swoop too many times. Carry on to show you that it does indeed work with different types of axes. So we have this diamond axe over here. Now, if it worked on stone, it will most likely work on diamond. So this is just kind of redundant to show you. But let's just quickly do it just for the for the video itself. So let's do that. Boom, there you go. And let's go over here to the final axe, which is the netherite axe. And let's mine this wood right there. And as you can see, it works. So now let's hop into the cave to show how vein mining all works. So let's start off very simple with this coal right here. And we crouch and mine. It will mine all the coal. So let's move on to some copper here with this pickaxe. And let's do the same as you can see it mined everything. And let's move to the diamond pickaxe to show that it works on this ore as well. There you go. So let's do some of the more deeper ores like deep slate here. So these aren't as easy to mine. But let's mine it with the diamond pickaxe like that. And as you can see it mines everything in one foul swoop which is very nice. Let's also mine some ancient debris. Let's use the netherite pickaxe this time. If we crouch and mine, it will take a bit longer, but it will mine all of the ancient debris, as you can see. Very useful and very helpful. Now, I would like to just warn that it does not work on fortune pickaxes, so make sure if you use fortune to mine normally, because if you mine with your vein miner, it will only mine one, so you don't get the fortune buff, so take that into consideration. Now, of course, I only show you a very few select circumstances, but there is plenty more to this add-on, which you can main mine gravel and such. So check it out. Link will be in the description down below. But other than that, I hope you did enjoy and leave a like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.